We got Bay in the building. <laughs> you hear that? You know I've been invited to um, Crystal Radio. Here, baby. put y'all on game about this hair that i am wearing right now i've had it on for a couple days it's lasted so really quickly i just wanted to show you guys their website so this is arabellahair.com and as you guys can see they're always having a sale so right now they have a 60 percent sale going on and they're they always have like little message things here popping up so you guys can always interact with them and they have this wig in the lens 10 12 14 16 18 20 and so forth inches um i do have the 26 inch wig that you guys are gonna see in this video and the density is 150 percent so um, this is a really good price. I mean, $269 for a 26-inch wig, like, that is a good deal. You can't really find that nowhere. So, um, I definitely think, you know, they're worth it. And I really love how they tell you everything about the wig. They give you the material, the hair type, the hair texture, they also tell you um, the type of lace it is, and you know you could get the cap size. Average size is a good size; usually fits all people. Um, and I mean that's pretty much everything. And I love how like people do reviews and have post pictures of how their hair looks. So yeah, information on this hair is gonna be in the description down below. So make sure you guys are checking out the description clicking on links this hair is bomb now on today's video today's an interesting <laughs> today's video is interesting i've never done nothing like this before so we're just gonna see how this goes i thought it would be a bright idea you know me and my bright ideas i thought it would be a bright idea to ask a gay girl questions that most people may be afraid to ask or most people aka me would want to know but don't know so i figured why not um you know get the answers live and direct <laughs> <laughs> from someone who is you got stars and shit in the back <laughs> basically interviewing someone i have my questions with my notebook so i am interviewing someone today now my special guest round of applause Woo! i'm gonna let her say whoever she is she's nobody you know what the you know what's going on oh, it's your girl what's up let me let me get my you know what's going on it's your girl katie katie the don the most flyest, funniest, and finest bitch on the fucking net. Period. <laughs> okay, so are you ready for my questions that I'm about to ask you? Sure, yeah. Are you like, I feel like I'm interviewing you. I feel like it shouldn't feel that way. I feel like it should just be it like. It's like an interview. Okay, um, go ahead, okay, girl. Okay. I'm scared. Okay, so do you know the type of questions I'm about to ask you? No. I don't know what she about to ask me, so... Buckle up. So are you ready? Can I ask you anything? Mm -hmm. Anything. Anything. You mm -hmm. sure? Mm-hmm. Anything. Mm-hmm. Anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So would 
you consider yourself as like feminine or dykey? <laughs> Do I, feel, do I consider myself feminine or dykey? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have to say I'm like on the cuts. You know, some days I feel like, you know, real nigga. Uh, can I say nigga? What do you? I feel real, you know, masculine. Other times I feel real feminine. But I feel like I'm in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I might, I could look like this one day. And other days, you know what I'm saying? I might look like this. So. Wait, let me run through my questions. Hold on. <laughs> Are you only attracted to females? So do you mean like animals or you mean like a just another Females gender? or men? No, I mean it'd be some guys out there that's like to me it would be attractive, but it's like, am I licking on their balls? No. So you find men attractive? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I find you know what? I feel like low key I don't have like a a a title you know i like what i like i love what i love so so there hasn't been a guy to catch your eye well i like chris brown you know what i'm saying oh you knew that yeah yeah i feel like everybody like chris brown though. yeah get into yeah, it, get it. To it. <laughs> but i don't be looking at it wait so you have chris brown's baby yeah for sure for real yes. oh my god I would have his baby too. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's a big ass check. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Are you ever attracted to your friends? Because I know you have a lot of like female friends. In the past, yeah, I've been attracted. But once you get like, there's certain lines you don't cross, you know what I'm saying? You might have a friend that's real bad. Like what? What, you, li what lines don't you cross? You just don't cross them lines. Like you can. It depends what kind of friend. Am I attracted to friends that I've been friends with for years? No. But if it's like a new friend, then yeah, I might be like, you know, what's like me? <laughs> you're not fully gay then. If you I, are, if you like guys, I didn't say I like them. Yes, you did. Well, I didn't, I didn't you, say, did. you said are they attractive? Yeah. You could find somebody attractive not like them. Did I lie? <laughs> Do you? Uh, this is this you okay, asking me so questions? Okay, so would you? Yeah, so My so bad. would you ever cuff no, a guy? No. Why? Cause I feel like in my soul I am a nigga. I am a guy. So yeah, it would be like. So how did you? How did you know this is how you felt? Emotional. Mm. What's T? So how did I know I didn't like guys? Yeah. Because like. I used to talk to guys, obviously, and I just ain't like, they used to just get on my nerves. I feel like they were more feminine than I was. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, well, this is a banger. How do girls have sex? <laughs> it's my motherfucking question. Cause I have been wanting to know the answer <clears throat> Like, I have been wanting to know Well, so a girl can have sex in many different, different ways. ways okay you'd be surprised I'm so so what's what's the first you know one? first things first is oral on oral you know that's mouth on the coochie you know back and forth okay then like at the same time no i mean it's like so you, you could do a 69 turns. you could you take turns you can finger each other you can eat each other out some people like to use prosthetic penises that that's what you call a strap on you know you strap on it and you and you oh so is that like a dildo yeah it's a um it's a toy it's it's a fake penis it's a toy it's a toy mm -hmm. and you just put you put it on and you mm. and then the last thing which is probably not the last this is more it's called what you call scissoring that's when two girls you know it's two girls right there hi mary hi sammy oh yeah you want a scissor yeah oh come here come here and then they get like this and you just and what does that do? Well, pretty much what it does is, you know, it's clitoris, clitoris, it's clitoris stimulation. And you just like, you ever, you know, you ever like, you ever touched yourself before? Yeah. Do you like how that feel? Yeah. So imagine a clit on your clit just doing like that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, so 
right now about the strap. So you put the strap on, right? Run me through this, cause you know I don't know nothing about. This. I ain't saying I did it. <clears throat> oh, okay. Well, have you ever used the strap? <laughs> <laughs> Good? Have you ever used this strap? Is my question. Okay, you don't even gotta answer that. That's TMI. Do you know how to use the strap? I've seen videos of people. on how to use the strap. I've seen videos, you know, everybody okay. watch a little hub and hub. Okay, okay, okay. So now when you put the strap on, right? The when person they, when, when, the, when the person put the strap, strap on, on, not you, because mm -hmm. You never use the strap. I never before. use it. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So when a person put this is <laughs> okay. When a person put the strap on, right? Mm -hmm. What like does it do for the person that's wearing it versus the person oh, that's getting it put into that, them? That is a great question. Um, from what I understand, <clears throat> from what I've read, you know, there's all type of different strap ons. There's one, you know, it's regular. Mm -hmm. What's, and you don't feel shit, you know, it's just like You don't, you don't feel, feel nothing, nothing. You don't feel nothing. Okay. What you do is you stimulate your mind and you get turned on by them being turned on You know, that's what I heard mm -hmm. Then I heard there's a strap on mm -hmm. that has, you know, because you have to wear like a little harness or whatever And like the strap on has like a type of material that rubs against your clitoris And mm -hmm. gives you like stimulation like the little scissor on it, you know, that shit So you feel that Okay then it's one that has like a vibrating thing, I heard, and like you put it on and it vibrates on your clitoris while you, you know, doing the nasty, which I don't do that. Lastly, there's a double-sided, why do I know this, you know, Netflix. There's a, Netflix. Uh, they have all type of documentaries on strap-ons. Oh, they do? Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. lastly, Yay. it's a double-sided one. That means it's a dildo going inside of you and a dildo going inside her at the same time. All right, so now going back to friends, let's get out of friends. This. You want to go back to the friends? You yeah. want to you you want to know about this friends? Yeah. Yes. So I want to know how can you be friends with a pretty girl and not allow yourself to cross the boundary of like, you know, be well. You might already be attracted to her. You can't really mm -hmm. control that, but you can control how you react to that feeling so like how do you control yourself from being like dang i don't know if i could just be a friend what you do well <clears throat> the majority of the time i was like probably in a relationship so it was like i can't be doing that anyways mm -hmm. if i'm not in a relationship you just gotta like you always hear this don't date talk to a straight girl so that it always be that. So it's like be a pretty ass girl that I want to be friends with. And I know she's straight. And when you be do that with a straight girl, it's just like you're not it's not a happy ever after. Why? Cause you know Then what happens? A lot of things happen. They figure out that, oh, you know what? This is not for me. I'm not really gay. I wanna go back to guys. Mm -hmm. That's one thing. They might be scared to come out the closet. Yeah, it's different things. But how I can manage to do that is just like I just I need I be wanting female friends and I don't have a lot of that. So right. you just gotta be like it's just like how dudes friend. be friends with girls sometimes. You just gotta like guys don't it's rare. Yes. A pretty girl friends with a guy, very rare. And for them not to do anything, very, mm. very rare. I have good self control. Yeah. Okay, good self okay. I mean you okay. you know that. I used to, I used to, because like, one, I hate periods, two, I hate having to do my hair, three, I hate how much it costs to get our hair done, four, I hate the process of us getting ready and clothes and all that shit. I feel like dudes have it easier than girls, so that's why mm -hmm. I used to want to be a dude, but like, nah, I don't want to, like, no. No? Mm -mm. No, you're good with your vagina? I like my coochie. Okay. So now, do gay girls like to be touched? Me, I like to be touched. Yeah. It's a lot of girls, like gay girls, that don't like to be touched. Those are what you call touch me nots. Touch me nots. I'm not one of them. No? <laughs> you can touch me. Not one of them. I don't know how, no offense to them. I don't know how you can. But a lot of them get like pleasure from, I guess, turning a girl on. That's what I hear. Yeah. They, I guess, seeing girls moan and all that, it turns them on. 
that's like getting full off of a burger I'm looking at. I can't do that. Right. I gotta eat the burger. Right. I gotta fill the burger. Right. I gotta swallow it. You gotta shit it out. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever plan on having kids? I do. <clears throat> and how are you gonna do that? Well, um, how are you gonna have a kid, Katie? You know what? I don't know. Would you let a guy get you pregnant? I heard it costs a lot of money to uh get sperm and do the pr procedure, so I might just take 10 shots of Hennessy and a Xanax and just wake up pregnant. Yeah, yeah, I might just do that. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna do it? I'd rather do that than pay $20,000. Yeah, that's me. Okay, I would do that too. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting nervous. I got sweaty, my palms are. They are? What the heck? I, I got sweaty, I make you nervous. No. Okay. Um. So, when you do have your little tomboyish days, right, where you're dressed down and, you know, you're a tall female, so mm -hmm. when you're dressed down from the back, you can look like a guy. Mm -hmm. Does it bother you when people mistake you for looking like a guy? Mm -hmm. It just happened twice. Once, I, I went to get my bike fixed. And he was like, can I help you, sir? And I looked up, I'm like, nigga. He was like, oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> but it's like, cause I be, first of all, we got the mask and I be having like on the hood and shit. And, right. like, and I be having my head down. They be like, sir, this nigga said it at Walmart and I got so mad, I got the mask on. I was like, you shouldn't call people by pronouns. He was like, hmm. I was like, don't call people by pronouns, I'm a female. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. I'm like, don't do that. I don't like it. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I feel like that's an insult. It is. Like I'm, like, like I'm pretty. Mm -hmm. It is. I was just wondering. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay, so you have been with guys. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it different being with a female than being with a guy? I wonder, <clears throat> what are the differences? One of the differences is like, um, emotions. Like, I feel like guys are emotionalists, if that's a word. From my experience, like, it's kind of like being with a wall. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's like, it's, I feel like with females, it's like a roller coaster, which isn't a good thing. It's kind of like toxic and shit. But like with a guy, it's just like, maybe it's too, maybe it's my problem because it's too perfect. It's like, oh, they, they don't argue. They don't do nothing. They just there. It's just... It, you know. It's like you feel like they don't show emotion, mm -hmm. like you said. It just be I don't know. Like they're boring. It just was irritating. They were just like I don't know. Irritating because they don't show emotion. No, it just was irritating. What's irritating if they know. don't show emotion? They just irritating. <laughs> okay, well you did. Yeah. Well you said with female you get emotion, with male you don't. Mm -hmm. And so you like clearly getting emotion. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I want to know. The answer to this one this one i feel like it might be a little touchy may not but Excuse i'm just me. going to ask it since you said nothing is off limits okay. right yeah have you yeah. ever <laughs> have you ever been exposed to homophobia and how did it make you feel mm -mm. no mm -mm. Never? you know what because a lot of people like don't especially like in the past they didn't know i was gay mm -hmm. you're a witness Right. You didn't know, I didn't I know. Was, at all. Right. So no, I didn't. Cause you don't. I don't feel like you really express I mean, it that much. No, I didn't much to say. I ain't waving no rainbow flags or nothing. But the most I've heard was like dyke. Like I don't know if that's homophobia though. But nah. I, well, I don't. I wouldn't know. But I don't take that as homophobia. Yeah, no, I, like if somebody says, "Oh, you're a dyke," mm -hmm. I wouldn't call that homophobia. No, nah, it's just them being a bitch. Dyke? Okay, what does dyke really mean? Dyke is like, is like, like. Does the that word bother you? Yeah, because it's like it the does. It do. It's like the female version. Oh, of so I'm sorry for saying dykey earlier. No, like, I know it was gonna bother you. I'm so, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said dykey. Somebody, dykey. But you gave it a nickname. <laughs> Sorry. Please don't drag me for that. I think I think saying dyke is like saying you can blurt this out. Oh, mm -hmm. that's like, like you that. cannot say that. Yeah, dyke is like. Yeah. So why are you caption? You talking about undyke me? Yeah, because it was a joke. He was trying to undyke me. 
Because I told you people be saying thanks to me. So I'm like, oh, he's trying to unthank me since y'all think I'm a bait. But if you don't like the term, why I can it? say it to myself. Oh, okay. So, if you don't like the term dyke. You don't like it. It's if they, if if you joking around, you call me a dyke. I don't care. But if you serious saying I'm a dyke, you know, it's nothing. I don't know if there's anything wrong with being a dyke. I'm just not that. What kind of girls are you into? What, what's your type? <laughs> what's your type, sis? I want to know what's your type. <laughs> like, what type of girls are you into? Well, if you look at my roster, mm -hmm. you would oh, think, um. You don't even your roster is not even public. Like I don't. Even yeah, know who people you've been in a relationship. Nobody with. will know. That's what, why nobody know what you are. That's it's, what I'm saying. Cause don't nobody be making a cut to be put on my fucking Instagram. That's why you always gotta stay on on the on the private the, the Instagram close friends, bitch. Okay, so what type of girls are you into? You know what? Uh, gender. Gender wise. <laughs> <laughs> Males and females. <laughs> Ethnic Chris Brown. Ethnicity. 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 Girl, anything like what's race like, wise. What's you know, funny. You gotta be outgoing. You gotta be um, independent. Uh, you gotta be naturally pretty. Um, you gotta be a freak. You gotta be, you gotta be a classy ass freak. You feel me? And it's not too much to ask. You gotta make me laugh. You gotta make me, and you gotta make, make me you, happy. Make you what? You make me, uh. what, what's that? That's that splash. <laughs> you <gotta make> me, <laughs> guys hit on you. Do you hate when guys hit on you? No. <laughs> How does it make you feel? You know, I can't blame them. You know, cause like at the end of the day, like I told y'all, like. Man, I look good. I so you know they go hit on me regardless. You know they gonna hit on you. They gonna hit on me regardless. I don't feel offended. You know what I'm saying? It just boosts my ego up even more than it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Um, before you came, <laughs> crawl. Read before, your question. Okay, so before you came out the closet, <laughs> were you ever in the closet? First of all. <clears throat> Where you ever in the closet? I feel like I thought I was in the closet, but if you look at my little, my old kid pictures, like I had on FUBU jerseys and shit, it's like your day. Like, I think people- How does that mean your day? What? Cause you wear an oversized shirt? Girl. <laughs> I was, okay, I was in the closet. I was in the closet. I was yeah. in the closet. I was in that motherfucker. Okay, so I'm saying, before you came out, right, versus now, because now you're already out, how do you feel like, do you feel like people looked at you differently? So no. before you came out versus how you look? No. No? Because when I came out, they was like, we already knew. knew. Okay. I was like, damn, I barely knew. Okay. All right. I got another question. So when it comes to girls, what turns you on most? When dealing with it, like, with a girl. Whoa, whoa, sexual whoa. or non-sexual? It can be anything. Okay, let's do sexual and non-sexual. Just make it interesting. Sexual. So start with non-sexual. What turns you what on? What turns you on? Most about a girl. And I wonder if all girls that are into girls can relate to this. Non-sexual will have to be how, like, uh, I like to see, I like to see um, when somebody's, like, hard working, like, Hard working and like you know you look good, like really like you know, just like so someone that got confidence. Confidence, that's the word. Confidence and like I like somebody that works like about their shit. That's only shit, you know. That's what's like non-sexual and um, I don't know, just like a good personality. Like, if you got personality, like I'm, I'm soaked. Okay. Sexual. Ooh. Sexual. In the most sexual but non sexual way, I like somebody that's like kind of a little tease, like a little flirt. Like, I like that little, you know, let me, let me, let me chase, let me chase that pussy. Uh, let me, let me, let me, Tom and Jerry that pussy. <laughs> 
just, I liked it. You know, just like, just, what? Oh, you so annoying. Like, I'm like, I'm annoying. Oh, okay. Come here, get, bring that ass so me. Oh my God, my mom might see this. Oh my God. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Are you gay forever? Yeah, probably, most likely. Yeah. What would make you go straight? Money. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. No, what would make me go? I guess it. It. I don't have an answer. Make me go. You. It would have to be the most perfect as. Perfect as dude, like. What's the perfect guy? I have guy no. Team? I have no idea. I have no idea. It would have to be one in. Excuse me, like one in a million. Sorry. <laughs> don't have an answer. <laughs> Sorry. Don't know. You think I got one? You think I? You think I'm capping? What? You think I'm capping about my answer? About what answer? Did she not just ask me a question? <laughs> what would make you go straight? The question would make you turn gay. I feel like she is wait, asking. Wait, what? What was the question? What would make you go straight? Uh, <laughs> what would make you go straight? <laughs> I said turn gay. My mind is my mind is blown. I feel like I feel like you turned on. Hmm. <laughs> Can did I miss any? Do y'all want to know anything? Were you a timer? Oh. Hmm. Okay. I, I think. Yeah. Well, I guess if, that if you did, if this you did video. miss one. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> the way you look at me, girl. <laughs> We gonna cut that out because I almost forgot the camera was right there. I thought that. Katie, stop! Just cut it. Just cut it. You should have looked at me like that. Anyways, you all right. Like, what? <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. All right. So I mean, that pretty much concludes this questionnaire. Thank you so much for being a part of this video. No problem. Um, I hope I answered some of you guys' questions as I did mine. Mhm. Mm because I was curious. And if y'all have a question that she missed just comment i guess yeah you whatever we do a part two maybe if y'all want to see it. you know what i'm saying maybe if i'm cool it's enough maybe you'd be my girl for my, <clears throat> my bad you know what i'm saying well i you know she i ain't looking at her you know i'm looking at you she ain't my type i don't like girls with blonde hair you feel me i like i'm bald <laughs> i like i'm limbless <laughs> <laughs> I want to be able to fight you when you can't swing back. <laughs> All right, well, make sure you guys go check out Katie and her girlfriend's channel. It's going to be in the description down below. Um, I love you guys, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Yeah, get into it.